strawberry shortcake. It's February as I'm recording this video and there's a lot that goes on in February. Here in Louisiana, it's strawberry season from February to May, depending on the weather. If we get a freeze, then it's shortened. But it's strawberry season, so I wanted to do a recipe to incorporate strawberries. Now initially, I wasn't going to do strawberry shortcake. I was going to prepare a berry chantilly cake, which is one of my favorites. But my husband insisted, he was like, no, do strawberry shortcake. So I did some research and what did I find? I found that the very first strawberry shortcake recipe was <laughs> created by a lady by the name of Miss Melinda Russell. I got the recipe out of this book. It's called American Cake. I like the title American Cake because what I found in my research is that Miss Melinda Russell was African American. So happy Black History Month. Miss Melinda Russell first published her cookbook called Domestic Cookbook back in 1866. And the author of this book thought it important to include it in her publication. And I think that's awesome. So let's get started. If you have watched any of my videos before, you know that I love kitchen gadgets. Three of the gadgets that I'll be using in my kitchen today are a pastry blender, a three inch biscuit cutter, and my mat. Before we start on our pastry, this recipe calls for you to wash and cut your strawberries in half. We're gonna place them in a bowl with one third cup of sugar and we're gonna set it aside at room temperature and then we'll get started on our pastry. Also, I forgot to mention, all of the ingredients for this recipe will be listed in the description box. The description box is just below the video. So you click where it says more and then you'll see all of the ingredients listed in the description box. So let's get started on our shortcake. So what our recipe calls for is, I always use unbleached flour, but it calls for all purpose flour. And to that, we're gonna add our sugar, our baking powder and our salt. And we'll mix that together. And then we're gonna cut in our room temperature butter. So we'll mix that in just like that. And then we, we're gonna add our room temperature butter, unsalted room temperature butter. And we're gonna cut this in until the uh, dough forms little pea-sized uh, butter pieces, okay? So let's go ahead and add our flour mixture to this bowl. And unlike my biscuit recipe, this particular shortcake recipe calls for room temperature butter. If you haven't watched my Biscuit Three Ways video, I suggest that after you watch this one, you go back and check that one out. So we're just gonna use this pastry blender. We could use our hands, but it's just easier to use this pastry blender. We're gonna cut all of the butter into the flour until we see little small pea-sized pieces. And as you can see, I'm turning the bowl and I'm rocking my pastry blender back and forth, just making sure I get all of my butter incorporated into my flour. And this doesn't take long at all because the butter is room temperature. Yeah, there we go. See that? Can you see? See the butter? Little pieces, about pea size. Next, our recipe calls for an egg. Add it to our heavy whipping cream, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna mix this together with a fork, and we're going to add this to our flour mixture. So this is what makes this a shortcake and not a biscuit, because in biscuits, we don't use eggs. So we're gonna mix this together real well, and then we are going to add this, making sure that that entire egg is incorporated. There we go. We're gonna add this to our flour mixture. There we go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this rubber spatula to mix all of that milk and egg into our flour. All right, just like that. And I'll mix it all in. Whoop. 
Don't worry about it. If you spill a little, because you're going to need a little flour on your surface in order to roll your short cakes out. All right, we'll just continue to mix that until it's well blended. And then we're going to flour this surface and we're going to cut out our short cakes. And also, I've already preheated my oven to 425 degrees. Now, another little gadget, if you don't have one of these, get you one of these. These little scrapers, they really, 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 really come in handy when you're working with dough. All right, this is all together. Now we are going to roll this out onto this floured surface. Now remember, I love using my mat because I don't like, I don't like mixing dough on my countertop. So I love using this little mat. So we're just going to add our flour to our surface here. And we're going to flour our hands because we don't want our hands to stick to our dough. A little bit more. What was I thinking wearing black today? All right. And what we're going to do, we're going to pat this out into a one inch size of dough. Because I want to make sure I get as many shortbreads that I can out of this recipe, I've decided instead of using my large biscuit cutter, I'm going to use one that's just a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and flour that. And then we're going to cut our shortcakes and place them on an ungreased baking pan and we are going to put these in the oven to bake for approximately the recipe says 10 12 to 15 minutes just until they're golden brown so let's go ahead and finish cutting these and get them placed on our baking sheet Just like that, we're done cutting out all of our short cakes. We got a total of 15 using the smaller cutter. And I'm glad I changed my mind about that because I want to get as many of these um, short um, cakes that I can out of this particular recipe. So we're going to go ahead and place these short cakes in the oven, uh, the preheated oven, uh, for uh, 12 to 15 minutes just until golden brown. And while our shortcakes are still baking in the oven, I want to remind you to toss your strawberry mixture just to make sure that all of that syrup, the sugar that turns into a syrup, covers all of your strawberries. And the recipe says one third cup of sugar, but you can add as much as you like because I like my strawberries sweet. So while we set that to the side, the recipe also calls for a whipping cream. So we're going to use a heavy whipping cream and confectionery sugar. An interesting fact about heavy whipping cream. Did you know that if you continue to whip heavy whipping cream, heavy whipping cream past <laughs> whipped cream, it turns into butter. So if you ever run out of butter and you just so happen to have heavy whipping cream handy, just keep, keep mixing it, keep blending it with your blender and eventually it will turn into butter. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna add that to our bowl with our confectionery sugar. And we'll whip this up in no time. This is almost to the consistency that I like. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try just a little bit of this to make sure that it's as sweet as I like it. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of confectionery sugar. Now I'll tell you guys, just because a recipe calls for, whenever you're talking about sweetening, sweeteners, I think, it's to your taste. So if you wanna add just a little bit more, I don't think it'll compromise the recipe at all. So I'm gonna add a little bit more confectionery sugar and by that time, our shortcakes will be ready. We'll top them with butter and I I'm excited. But I always say I'm excited. I I'm excited. Okay. I don't want to go too past this because then this will turn into butter. But as you can see, yeah, 
I could hold it over my head and it's not gonna fall. So we've got our heavy, our whipping cream done. Let's take our biscuits out of the oven and let's assemble our strawberry shortcakes. And just like that, our shortcakes are ready, out of the oven, ready to assemble. Nice and golden brown. And what I'm gonna do now is, I melted just a little bit of butter. And you don't have to add more butter if you don't like. But we're gonna top these with just a little bit more melted butter. We're gonna cut them in half and assemble them on our plate. And then my favorite part, taste is time. <laughs> I've added a few strawberries to garnish. I just slid them down the middle and made a little fan. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take one of our hot shortcakes, we're gonna cut it in half. Oh, look at that. Look at that, look at that. And we're going to take our strawberry mixture, making sure we incorporate that syrup at the bottom. I'm going to place that on top of our strawberry short, on top of our shortcake. You can see that. Let's get some more. Let's get some more of that syrup at the bottom. All right. And we put our little shortcake on the top and we're going to top this with our fresh heavy whipping cream that we prepared and there you have it <laughs> strawberry shortcake my favorite part taste test taste test all right I want a little bit more of the syrup on top I should have put this in a smaller bowl but this is for time's sake, I will. I only did just a, baked a small portion of the recipe just for you guys. So let's see. This is a very large spoon. Let's see. I want to see if I can taste the difference. If this tastes like a biscuit or. Mmm. Mm, with the strawberries that's delicious guys mm. really sweet and delicious guys this is my first time trying this recipe in front of you this is really good this is something I think that I would prepare for Valentine's Day or Sunday brunch this was delicious guys thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen I drop a new video every Wednesday at 11 45 Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. If you don't subscribe or like, how am I going to know that you like my videos and I should continue doing this? Thank you so much for watching. You have a blessed month, a blessed week. Whenever you're watching this, a blessed year. Be blessed. Bye.